Boeing has the very successful 747 and 777 freighters. While these planes got order after order and the air cargo market was booming, Airbus tried to get the A380 freighter in the air. However, as we all might know, the freighter version of the A380 never took off. So why wasn't Airbus able to build the freighter version of its larger aircraft, Edstock Aviation? If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. This really helps the channel grow and makes it easier for others to find. In the 1990s, Airbus announced that it was working on an ultra-high capacity airliner, the A3XX. After a decade of research and feasibility studies, the A380 program, as it was now called, was launched. While the core would be a passenger version, Airbus concurrently launched a cargo variant. By the beginning of the millennium, Airbus received some orders for the A380F. In total, the manufacturer got orders for 27 aircraft with options for 20 more. Airbus placed the smallest order for two freighters in 2001. The leasing company ILFC placed an order for five the same year. And later, in 2002 and 2005, both FedEx and UPS placed an order for 10 with the option for 10 more. Already by 2007, all airlines backed out of the deals and the order book for the A380F was empty again. Both Emirates and ILFC converted their orders to the passenger variant, but UPS and FedEx just cancelled their deals altogether. There are a couple of reasons I think the A380F wasn't the success Airbus hoped it to be. First of all, the delays with building the aircraft. When UPS and FedEx placed their orders, they were looking to expand their air cargo capacity sooner than later. UPS first hoped to receive its aircraft by 2010, but the timeline was soon expanded to 2012. One of the reasons for the delays was that Airbus was moving engineers that were working on the freighter version to the passenger version. This wasn't exactly what UPS was hoping to see, and instead of waiting any longer, they opted to explore alternative options. Around the same time, FedEx cancelled its order for their 10 A380 freighters and decided to add 15, more or less off the shelf, 777 freighters instead. Next, the A380 is significantly bigger than the 747, but it can only carry a little bit more weight. Freighter version of the 747-8 can carry almost 140 metric tons in 874 cubic meters. The A380 can carry 12.5 tons more, but it has almost 300 more cubic meters to do so. So while the A380 may look a lot bigger than the 747, it has some limitations on the weight side. And while we are on the subject of weight, the A380 is known to be a heavy aircraft. This makes it less fuel efficient than its competitors. So even while the A380 can carry a bit more freight and has a longer range than the 747, it's more expensive to operate. Another big difference with the 747 are the cargo doors. The 747 freighter is somewhat famous for its lifting nose, making it easy to put longer freight directly into the aircraft. The A380 freighter wouldn't have this feature, since the cockpit is located more centrally. Therefore, the aircraft is fitted with a large cargo door on the side, but this makes it harder to load odd-sized cargo, since there is limited space to make the turn. So, is there any possibility that we will someday see a freighter version of the A380 around? Well, to be honest, it's very unlikely. The only cargo flights with the A380 were operated during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic and the planes used couldn't exactly be described as a full-on cargo plane. For example, Malaysia Airlines got special approval to use their passenger decks to function as cargo holds. The airline would fly PPEs like masks and gloves in boxes that were placed on top of the passenger seats. iFly took a more drastic decision. They removed almost all passenger seats to transform their A380 into a cargo aircraft. On each deck they could now stack boxes full of PPE. They even filled the overhead bins with cargo. However, all these examples are of temporary conversions. The A380 that Highfly used has since been retired. It looks like the world will never see a fully dedicated A380 freighter. Especially since Airbus has stopped producing the double-decker and the only way to get it would be a converted aircraft. And with a not so strong business case, it's very unlikely that we will ever see such a conversion happen. So what are your thoughts about the A380F? Do you think there could have been a market for the double deck as a freighter? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to Let's Talk Aviation. If you have any suggestions for a future video, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I look forward to hearing what you would like to see here at Let's Talk Aviation.